Hello there and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. Um, this is the last page, this is page 7 or question 7 in the exam walkthrough and this is about um, risk assessment and um, precautions using the pillar drill. So we, it says complete the risk assessment table for the pillar drill. There's six marks, so we've got one, two, one, two, etc. two marks for each. Um, so we need to give the hazard, potential hazards of using a pillar drill. Here's a pillar drill, um, like we have in the workshop. And it's given an example here. So it says hazard, the workpiece could spin off the drill. Precaution, ensure the workpiece is for firmly clamped down. So you have to identify poten potential hazards and say which precautions you would take to um, ensure they don't happen. Um, so if we look at um, the first one, we can say loose clothing could so may get caught in I'm going to say chuck, but you could say uh, moving parts, or you could say uh, drill bit. Um, if something like a tie or part of your clothing, um, your your sleeve. So we say the precaution we take there would be wear an apron and tuck in your tie. You could say remove your tie. But basically, we're wearing an apron, so we haven't got loose pieces of clothing. Also, the apron tends to keep your tie in it out of the way anyway. So that would be the first uh, hazard and the first precaution. So we'd say two marks there, two marks there. Um, <clears throat> next one. Hazard. Uh, small pieces of swarf could get in your eyes. Uh, swarf is the little pieces of, um, might be sawdust, it might be metal that come off when you're drilling or cutting with a hole saw and obviously they've got like any, you know, the energy they could fly off and go into your eyes so obviously the precaution you take there is wear um, I mean, another way to answer this would have been to do the precautions first and say, what precautions do I take? Why do I do it? That's basically what I was asking. So wear goggles um, when using the pillar drill. There we go. Um, so two marks, two marks. And then... Um, which other ones we can? I mean, there's there's quite a, a few of these. I'm going to say a uh, chuck key. Um, the chuck key could uh, spin out of the chuck, causing. Obviously, the precaution is never leave the chuck key in the chuck. Okay, two marks, two marks. Um, other things, so the chuck key, if the chuck key is left in the chuck and the, the, the drills inadvertently started up, the that will be thrown across the room and obviously the chuck keys are, are kind of quite a substantial piece of metal that could fly and cause injury um, you could talk other things you could talk about are perhaps you know I injuries with two people using the machine um, giving people room so don't you know uh, people could get pushed into the drill so give people room when they're using one person at a time you could add those other ones but these ones will all get two marks two marks two marks Okay, so that is the last question on the um, exam, GCSE exam walkthrough. Um, I hope you found that helpful and thank you for watching Mr Ridley's Design and Technology.